People that use fiat currency as a store of value, there's a name for them. We call them poor. We call them poor. We call them poor. In the world of Bitcoin, few people have championed its adoption as fervently as Michael Saylor. The executive chairman of MicroStrategy has not only transformed his own company, but he's left an indelible mark on finance by his innovative approach to investing in Bitcoin. In this series, I'm going to tell you when and why Michael Saylor started investing in Bitcoin and how he's using it to transform MicroStrategy into one of the most valuable companies in the world. My advice would be go take a billion dollars and buy Bitcoin. It's the most obvious thing. Let's rewind the clock back to August 2020. Michael Saylor announces that MicroStrategy will adopt a Bitcoin standard, investing $250 million into Bitcoin acquiring 21,454 Bitcoin. This move was driven by concerns over a weakening dollar and a desire to preserve shareholder value. Our initial Bitcoin purchase was out of desperation. It's like, I just don't know what else to do anymore. This is my last, my last idea, but I have nothing to lose. And then it became uh, opportunistic. Our stock tripled and we could raise $650 million. This for initial investment was just the beginning. Over the next few months, MicroStrategy continued to bolster its Bitcoin holdings. Saylor's conviction in Bitcoin's potential was unwavering. He considered it to be a superior store of value, often referring to it as digital gold and the apex property of the human race. At some point it became strategic. We're just going to keep doing this and we can do it with occasionally different types of bonds and equity and the like. So the obvious way to play this is simply to convert something which is low yielding cash and credit into something which is a digital property as much as you uh, as you wish to fast forward the clock to september 2024 and microstrategy's bitcoin holdings had grown exponentially with the company holding over 250,000 bitcoin acquired for 9.9 .9 billion dollars at an average price of around $39,000 per Bitcoin. Uh, my forecast is 13 million a coin by the year 2045. And what I tell everybody is every Bitcoin you don't buy today is going to cost you $13 million in the future. The company made its biggest Bitcoin acquisition to date, taking its total holdings above 330,000 Bitcoin. But this is the past 14 years. Bitcoin's not just winning. It's up 168% in 14 years. It's consistently winning. And the irony, of course, is that you still get questions from the normies every day, like, well, when does the run stop? It's like, when do nuclear reactors stop producing more electricity than water wheels? Unlike my cat behind me who's cleaning himself, you're probably wondering how Michael Saylor got his hands on tens of billion dollars to invest in Bitcoin. Well, that is the topic for the next video in this series where I'll be unpacking how MicroStrategy is using convertible notes to raise billions of dollars to continue buying Bitcoin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more content on Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency ecosystem.